Well, thank you for joining me again today for Monday Mind. I'm so glad you could join in. Today, as I promised, we'll be talking about Christ, how he is with you. Not only is he with you, he is for you in every situation that you encounter in your life. Romans 8.31 says, If God be for you, Christ be for you, who can be against you? The answer to that question is no. Nobody, nothing, no situation. Nobody. If Christ is for you, nothing can be against you. There's a big difference in being with somebody and for somebody. Just like you, I am with somebody a large portion of my day. I'm with co-workers. I'm with musicians. I'm with my family. Oh, they're with me, maybe in the same vehicle, maybe in the same room, the same building. But let something tragic happen in your life. And all of a sudden, you're not the same. You're not the same old Glenn or the same old whoever that you were yesterday. You've run out of money, and you're just not the person that you were the day before. And you'll find out who is for you. There's a thing called fair-weather friends. Jesus Christ is not a fair-weather friend. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8 says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So in closing today, let me basically say we've established the fact that Christ is with you and for you through Romans 8, 31. If God is for you, who could be against you? And we've talked about in Hebrews 13, 8, how he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Turn the tables. Turn it around just a second. Are you with Christ? Are you with him? A lot of times we leave him out of our daily decisions. A lot of times we leave him out of our daily routine. And he feels lonely. He feels rejected. He's not going to just barge in and, and come busting through your door and say, hey, let me help. Christ is a perfect gentleman. He patiently waits until th things don't work out like you think they should, and then you realize that, hey, I did not include Christ like I needed to. So not only is he with you and for you, you need to let yourself be with him and for him. Include him in every decision of your life, great and small. He patiently waits to hear from you. If anything has happened in your relationship and you feel like Christ is ignoring you, no, he's not. If anything happened in the relationship, it's you. You're the one that went somewhere. You're the one that hindered the relationship. Christ is patiently waiting. Whisper his name. Lord, I'm sorry. I need you. Be a part of my life. I want to be not only with you, but for you, Christ, just like you are with me and for me. Thank you so much for joining me again today for Monday Manna. I'll see you guys next Monday.